Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the end of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get right into your reading, Libra. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the rest of the March going into April 2020. All right, your first card, Libra, is the Three of Cups, the Star card, the Hierophant, the Four of Wands, the seven of pentacles, the eight of pent uh, sorry, the eight of cups, the king of pentacles, the ten of pentacles, the queen of pentacles, wow, and the three of pentacles. Okay. So we have a lot of things happening. Um with the three of cups, I feel that for some of you guys, you were dealing in a or were currently dealing with a long-term relationship as we do have the hierophant here but with the three of cups there was a three party type of energy that got involved uh for some of you guys it could have been that you were in a committed relationship but hoping or wanting um or looking towards the past as we do have the star card here and this is your obstacle so the obstacle could signify what's currently what we currently need to overcome in order to get us on our way or our path, the path we're supposed to be walking on. And I do see you guys looking towards the past as you do have the seven of pentacles here. Uh, this is what's crowning your energy. So you guys are definitely looking towards the past or perhaps even thinking of revisiting the past for some of you guys. Now, Someone walked away in this relationship or in this connection as we do have the eight of cups here uh, So the eight of cups next to the hierophant I feel that they're talking to me about two different energies or two different people for some of you It could be that there was a conclusion or someone walked away from a partnership or a relationship recently but you're also very connected with someone from your past so this could have been a soul type of connection or a connection that goes beyond time. Even if you have not, as an example, even if you've moved on for, uh, to different people since that one connection that was a very deep emotional connection, um, I definitely do see you guys still emotionally connected to one another. So again, what they are saying is that there's a lot of changes that are currently happening and one of them is your current situation. Someone walked away or someone will be walking away from this connection. And it has a lot to do with the fact that this person is not the person that's for you. Um, now, for some of you guys, you may be looking towards returning to someone, um, the king of pentacles. It could represent an earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo type of energy. This is a person that is very self-sufficient. Uh, a person that is currently on the pursuit of either stability, uh, something long term, uh, or uh, a person that you see as very like you highly respect it at some point in your life. And, and they keep telling me this is a past energy. Now, for some of you guys, it could be that this is the person that you currently ended a relationship or concluded some type of partnership and you're looking to return uh, to someone from your past or uh, there is a need or a desire for you to revisit the past because there's still things that are haven't been worked out completely. Now, you also do have here the four of wands. So this is the energy currently influencing or the energy is currently influencing the person, um, your partner or the person of your interest. The four of wands speaks about stability. This is a person that is not looking for anything temporary. This is a person that is completely focused for some of you guys. It could even uh, represent that the person has moved on and that they are going towards a stable. Uh, for some, it could be marriage. For others, it could be a commitment, some type of commitment. Or uh, for others of you, it could just represent that at some point in this relationship, in this connection, and they're talking directly about the past, not the present. So if you were in a relationship and it recently came to a conclusion, what they're saying is that there is a past relationship that was still undone, meaning it's not, it hasn't came to its completion and you will be revisit, revisiting that connection or that relationship. And for some of you guys, it could represent that for some, 
uh, there was a walking away or an ending because you felt that this connection was so strong that it would eventually go to a commitment, some type of marriage, something that was long term. And perhaps for some of you Libras, you weren't ready then. But what they're saying is that you will be revisiting that chapter in your life because you're coming to the understanding or you're realizing that this person was it. Now, you also have the 10 of pentacles here. So if you guys can see here, we have a lot of pentacles. What they're saying here is if you dealt with the person that was earth energy in the past, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, this person was for you, Libra. This person was the most ideal or the person that, again, they are relating. There was a soul connection or contract. So it's not done there. You will be putting yourself or they will be coming back into your life coincidentally because it was never done or it was never completed. So for some of you guys, it could have been a relationship that just completely stopped and ended. But you guys never officially like ended the relationship. There was loose ends. I do see you guys revisiting that past. And what they're saying is that. If you come completely honest and completely transparent Libra with your wants or your desires, you're no longer guarded and you come in willing to make the effort to make that relationship or to reconnect, it will turn into something long term. See, you guys have you guys have two royal cards here and it's of the same suit. So again, this is a soulmate type of connection. This is a connection that goes beyond time it goes beyond uh circumstances uh so again i feel what they're saying is that there was a culmination of of this relationship that happened based on circumstance or situations that kind of pulled you guys apart but it's almost like the universe is bringing you guys back together and it, for some of you guys it could be accidentally you guys bump into each other for others of you, it could just represent that this person comes back into your life exactly at the time where you're ending something that you knew wasn't it for you. All right. So again, now for those of you guys that currently have ended a relationship, for those of you guys that currently did end a relationship because there was a third party involved, or because the person was the one that wasn't ready to commit, it could be the reason why these feelings are coming back around. You're remembering the past and you're remembering, hey, at some point I did this to someone, right? And now this is being done to me. But it's almost like I knew it or I always felt that in my, like, in my gut that this person was for me. Um, and it's like you're getting the green light, Libra. So again, things could be, Here's one thing that I tell all my clients when I do consultations with them. Nothing is set in stone. Time is fluid, right? So things continuously keep evolving and changing. We can mess up for our higher purpose. There is a higher purpose for us to make mistakes, to learn from them. So if you're going through this and something in you is bringing up feelings of the past or you're feeling like, you know, like you're starting to sense that person around you or it could just be that you're very connected intuitively and you're picking up on the fact that something major is going to happen where the universe is going to correlate circumstances, situations, and people to lead you to the person that's right for you, Libra. So stay optimistic, especially those of you guys that recently there was a separation or an ending. Stay optimistic because I do see complete fulfillment and happiness for you guys Unfortunately, it wasn't with the person that you were dealing with recently. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.